the executive business role was updated with the new Criminal Enterprises DLC, offering new upgrades and money-making opportunities to the special crate warehouse and a ton of other changes. And in this video, I'll be going over all of the new changes made to that business so that you guys can keep up to date with these new businesses. So let's get started. The first big change to the executive business was a new staff manager. Her name is Lupe. Her job is fairly simple. Once you load into the game, you should receive some calls and texts from Lupe, who is a new contact on your phone. What Lupe does is pretty much source cargo for your special cargo warehouses without you needing to do any of the work. All you need to do is head on over to any of your own special cargo warehouses and you will see a new icon on your map. This is a new staff member who is managed by Lupe. These staff members will wait around your special warehouses. No matter how many you own, there will always be one member of staff per warehouse. If you go up to one of these NPCs, you can get them to source special cargo. This will cost you 7500 and essentially all the staff members will do is go out and source cargo for you. This can be a slow process. The time it takes for these staff members to source cargo is mixed, but usually it takes 10 to 20 minutes. Lupe will notify you once the staff member has delivered the cargo to your selected warehouse. And there is one big problem with this. There isn't an option to select how much cargo you want sourcing, which means these new staff members will randomly collect one crate or two crates or three crates, which also means this may be a slower and more expensive way of sourcing cargo. One crate costs $2,000 to source on your own and say for instance you make every staff member from maybe three of your special warehouses, that means you spend $22,000 for three warehouses. One warehouse can come back with one crate and another with three. This would have cost you considerably less if you source them on your own, which means it's not a very reliable way to fill up your warehouses. The only way this could be useful is saving time. Maybe if you want to fill up your warehouses without doing any work, just get the staff members to do it and grind out some other activities in the background and then repeat that method until all of your warehouses are full but bear in mind you might spend a ridiculous amount of money than you otherwise would sourcing on your own now the next new money making opportunity is via your executive office if you head over to your assistant at the desk right at the bottom is an option to export mixed goods you can only do this if you've gone to one of your special warehouses and made one of the staff members source cargo for you. Mixed goods is basically a small scale sell mission which requires you to sell small amounts of product acquired by all of your different warehouse staff. All you need to do is head on over to one of your warehouses to pick up a truck loaded with these goods and then deliver it towards a drop off. The amount of money you will get the first time you complete this sell mission is $150,000 but this is only a first time bonus and the amount after that will be $50,000 which really isn't that bad. For not doing any work at all and a quick sell mission this is fairly easy money. And the final change made to the executive business is two new source missions however I have a massive complaint with these missions. The specific mission which makes you travel all the way to Polito Bay and swim to blow up the crates is extremely long. This mission can spawn for any amount of crates. One two or three and it takes way too long to complete this mission. For someone who might want to quickly grind cargo this can waste a lot of time. It requires you to swim out, blow up five different crates till you get the things you need, swim back and then drive all the way to a safe house but that's not the end of it. Then you need to drive from that safe house to the warehouse you want to stock. It's an insanely long mission and for the first time you do it it might be fun but after that it can be really boring and just really annoying. I don't want to spend upwards of 10 minutes just to get one crate. Sure the mission's cool but that's not what I want to be doing. And that is going to conclude this video. Overall, the special cargo business changes aren't my personal favourite. This has to be my least favourite improved business. Rockstar could have implemented this a lot better. But with all that being said, I hope this video did help you out. If it did, be sure to subscribe and drop a like. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.